A San Antonio student is reportedly one of the victims of Friday's San Marcos apartment fire. Amid record-breaking temperatures, San Antonio struggles to stay cool. And cow tipping barbecue shows even food trucks can make great BBQ. He has plans to make cow tipping a permanent gig with service three to four times per week throughout the San Antonio area. I'm Chan Storland with your express briefing for Tuesday, July 24th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. The family of 20-year-old San Antonio native Drew Estes has taken to social media to report he was one of the victims of Friday's San Marcos apartment fire, with a total of five bodies now having been recovered from the iconic village apartment complex. A GoFundMe campaign has been created by a family friend to raise money for funeral arrangements for Estes, who attended Kruger Middle School and Roosevelt High before attending Texas State University, where he had just finished his sophomore year. Investigators are still trying to determine what sparked the lethal inferno shortly before 4.30 a.m. Friday, ripping through the iconic village apartments at 222 Ramsey Street and ultimately spreading next door to two buildings at the Vintage Pads Apartments at 1000 North LBJ Drive. Both apartment complexes are two blocks from the Texas State University campus. The building where all five bodies were recovered did not have a sprinkler system, and as the building met the required safety standards in place at the time it was built, a sprinkler system was never required. As Monday's record-breaking temperatures soared into triple digits, San Antonio residents and visitors alike sought ways to cool down and stay out of the sun. Bear County was under an excessive heat warning all day, and by 5 p.m., the 104 degrees recorded at San Antonio International Airport and 109 degrees at Stinson Municipal Airport were hot enough to break historic highs for the day. However, the record-breaking temperatures did not postpone highway construction projects around Alamo City. Project Cool, a cooperative arrangement by Catholic Charities, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, United Way, the San Antonio Fire Department, and the City of San Antonio has distributed 3,700 free box fans to elderly and disabled individuals throughout the summer, with nearly 100 fans alone in the past three days. And while you don't often think great barbecue can come from a food truck, cow tipping barbecue will make you think again. Here's Chuck Blount discussing his latest review for the ongoing series 52 Weeks of Barbecue on the Taste Cast podcast, available for free download at expressnews.com slash podcasts. This was the first mobile barbecue operation in the series, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, Manny Olivo used to operate Manny O's Barbecue in Universal City, and it was highly regarded, but the restaurant just didn't quite work out for him. But Olivo saved all of his equipment, and early in the year, he started hitting the road with cow tip and barbecue. They operate in uh, Shirts and Cibolo areas, um, mostly on Saturdays. But he has plans to make uh, cow tip and a permanent gig with service uh, three to four times per week. Uh, throughout the San Antonio area, and he'll probably be up and running the, uh, this fall. Based on the name of the truck, beef was clearly designed to be the focus, but I was really blown away by the chicken. You know, this was a well-seasoned bird, and it just coated in a bronze, smoky skin armor from breast to drumstick that retained the moisture. It really made for some destination chicken. And, and that doesn't mean that the brisket had to take too much of a back seat, though. The The fatty brisket stretched like an accordion and was, you know, coated with a proper salt and pepper bark that really, you know, danced on the tongue nice. Nice crimson smoke ring on each slice for the folks that really like to look for that. All in all, I, you know, I think Olivo's decision to get back into the full-time barbecue game is the correct one. They, they, they know what they're doing there. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Tuesday, July 24th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. I'm Chance Dorland.